Shopify booking system step by step. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be doing a quick look on how you can get started with setting up your booking system on Shopify. So let's get into it. Now to get started with creating a booking system on Shopify, you have to click on settings on the bottom left. Then you want to click on apps and sales channels. Then once you click on apps and sales channels, you want to click on the Shopify app store on the top right. Now Shopify natively does not have a booking system integrated. So you want to go on ahead and search for booking. Now, once you search for booking, there are multiple different applications that you can use. The one that I recommend and use is appointment booking by Appointo. Uh, so I'm just going to click on this one. You can choose another one, but I just like this system. I think they are super efficient. They also have a free plan and a trial version. So we can just click on add application over here. Once you click on add application, Shopify will ask for, you know, information. So we will just install the application, allow it all its permissions. And just like that, you know, a pointer will be downloaded. So on the left side of my screen, I'm going to pin it over here. Now, to get started with a pointer, first off, let's say we are going to set up our time and then you have your product. Now, uh, with products, if you want to set up appointments and bookings, you actually have to link them to a product. So first off, you want to click on product over here, click on add product and rename it into booking, you know, rename it into the service or the booking. Let's say I do a tailoring or custom style services. So custom style service, I can provide the description, the pricing as well as I normally would on any item. Then I have in the inventory, you can choose the location that you're going to be providing at. Then you're going to select digital product or service over here. And if you have variations, uh, you can also choose to add those, but I recommend adding those in the form of metadata. And I do have a video on meta field and metadata as well. So once you have created the service that you want to create your bookings for, you're just going to click on save. And now I want to create the calendar for booking me for a custom style service. So now I'm going to click on a pointer on the bottom left of my screen. And after that, you will click on appointments or bookings, whatever you want, or you can just click on calendar to set it up as well. But I'm going to click on custom style service over here. Click on add product to a pointer. Now, after that, you will add variants in a customized flow. So what is going to be the normal duration? Let's say it's going to be one hour. And let's say invitees can't schedule within two days, or let's say I take appointments only one day prior. Or let's say I take appointments 12 hours prior with a 12 or 12 hour notice anyone can book. Then after that, you can show the availability start times in specific increments. So, you know, what kind of division do you want for your product? Let's say for your um, bookings. So I want my um, zero and then I want to keep a 15 minute buffer time. Then you have your meeting details. Obviously for me, it's a custom style service, so it will be in location. Then you can add any notes. So if a client or a customer has to bring a certain item or do something, then they have to, uh, you can write that in the note and the client can bring those items or, you know, do that homework before they come to you for this service or for their booking. Now, after that, you have your calendar. You can delete all these if you don't want to have the preset ones. Now you have Sunday to Saturday, you have the entire week and you can click on plus on the right side over here and this will add a basic time. Now you can select your time. Let's say I start taking custom style services from 10 a.m. to maybe uh, 3 p.m. So I'm going to select 3 p.m. over here. And then after that, maybe I take a another second slot of customized style appointments at six and I take maybe only one appointment after six and that might be six to seven like this. Now, after that, I have Monday and you can choose to replicate your calendar like that. So you can just click on duplicate and copy these hours. So let's say I want to copy these hours to all the days copy these hours to all the days like this and let's say we don't do customized uh, styling on uh, Sundays I would remove that and then uh, let's say we also do it on evenings on Saturdays or Fridays so 
So just like that, I've added my entire little calendar of when I'm going to be providing this service, the possible time slots available. Then you also have date override. So maybe it's a special Sunday where you are going to provide that. You can add those overrides as well. Now, after that, you just want to click on next over here. And then you're going to click on done. Then you can click on activate calendar over here to integrate this into your Shopify store. So now just like that, you have your calendar activated and this has now been embedded. I'm just going to save it. I'm going to click on next and then you can select any of the plans on Appointo to get started. So you can click on select, click on buy now, and then you can go on ahead and pay and then you can get started with setting this up. So just like that, it is so simple to get started with Appointo. The best part is that their pro plan starts at only $10 a month and they have unlimited products, email notifications, rescheduling and cancellation, blocking certain dates, color customization and more. Now, if you want to use a free application, there are a bunch of different free ones as well. So for that, you can go back into your apps and sales channel. Although I do recommend a pointer for some people, maybe they're just trying this out. For those people, let's take another look and we are going to be using a point leaf for that. I've used this one as well. It's relatively simple as well. It's a lot similar to um, the native application of um, of Calendly yeah so it's pretty similar to Calendly so you can just download Appointedly uh, pretty similarly to the way you would download Appointo then once you click on that you are just going to repeat the pretty much the same steps so what you're going to do is click on services over here this is where it differs so in Appointo you add product as your service directly into your Shopify store over here you're going to click on services click on add new service then you're going to link it over here. So custom style service, we're going to click on continue. And once you've added the default title, you can change it as well. You can add the duration, group appointment, all of that. And then you can add any custom questions that people want to ask. You have in start time increments, click on save. And we're going to add the address. And you can also choose to create subscription bookings, even on the free version of Appointedly. So once you have added all of this, you can go on ahead and click on the preview and activate it. So how it's going to look like on your website. So we're just going to create this little item, click on save, click on services now. And now we have a active service now available uh, on our Shopify store. So I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with setting up your own appointment booking on your Shopify store, appointment scheduling on your Shopify store. So if we go into our product over here or our collections page, we're just going to go directly into our product page from here. And currently I haven't added any of this, so I'm just going to add some services in stock. We're not going to add quantities. We're going to remove the quantity item on this. And after that, you will be able to see a button called schedule your time. And just like that, people have this little section where they can select the slot they want, the service and the team member, and just click on book now to get started with their booking and then proceed to the checkout to purchase, you know, the service or the booking. So I hope you guys found this helpful and make sure to like and subscribe and I will catch you guys in the next video.